Hi YouTube, today I'm really excited because I have a new knife to show you. Now unfortunately it's not my knife, it's on loan from Steel City Knives. This is a traveling knife, so it's one that's being shared around a number of UK channels and uh, it's originated from Steel City Knives and Slippoint Sawyer has reviewed it as well. So I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not really a knife collector. I, I don't know anywhere near as much about knives as the other guys. But let's take a look at it, shall we? You can see it's an absolutely beautiful knife. So with the oak scales and the brass pins, bolster and liners, uh, it has a really classic look about it. It also has a brass bead on the end of this short leather lanyard and you can see the brass liners there and even the lanyard liner is brass as well. It has a steel back spring and the blade it's got quite a strong pull on it. So the blade is uh, stainless it's 1.4034 so I think that's equivalent to an X46 CR13. So high hardness and good corrosion resistance. You can see the Otter logo on it as well. And looking a bit closer here, you can see it's got Rust Fry Solingen. So this is handmade. And I think one of the nice things about this is that the beauty is in the slight imperfections because it's handmade. So everyone is slightly different. If you look at the grind, sorry, the sharpening angles here, you can see it's not absolutely perfect, but then it's been made by hand. It's been made by a craftsman, not by a robot. And I think that's what you're looking for when you buy this sort of knife. It's not mass produced. It has more character than that. The oak scales are really smooth, really smooth finish. You, you can't feel the difference from where the oak from where the oak scales meet the brass liners it's it's super smooth it's been really well finished it's a really beautiful knife i think it was great of steel city knives to um have this as a traveling knife i think if it was mine i wouldn't let it out of my sight just looking at some of the details of it so the overall length is 165 millimeters the blade length is 75 millimeters, so it's, it's UK legal, and the handle is 95 millimeters. It's a slip joint. It has a really strong back spring, though, so it's quite difficult to close. I think that's a good thing. There's not much chance of it, of it closing on your fingers, and there's certainly no chance of it opening in your pocket. It's, it's really strong. It's a spear point blade with a nail nick just on the one side. Really beautiful. I haven't got much more to say about it. It's, um, it's super sharp and it's just an absolutely beautiful knife. A traditional knife and um, really good quality. I hope you've liked this review. It's a very simple one. Being a traveling knife, it's gonna go on to somebody else next. Probably Sussex EDC, if not next, then soon. So just to give a shout out for those channels again. So Steel City Knives, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. The same for Slip Joint Sawyer. And of course me here at MBEDC, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It helps me know that I'm putting out the right sort of content and that you, that you like it. And it gives me an idea of what to focus on next. Thanks for listening. See you in the next video.